Maniac is imminent. Request advice. With a firm tone of voice, demand Maniac lie down with hands behind back. when I'm playing these old video games, replaying them, I find myself wondering a lot of times how I ever played them as a child. Because no matter what the game is, it start, no, no matter how fun it starts, at some point, it ends up fucking me. You are fined one credit for a violation of the verbal morality to stand and then I can't go any further. I would love to do a full-fledged review of this, but I can't get past the first level. Here is the point where I get fucked. You are fined one credit for a violation of the verbal morale to stand out. Gentlemen, thank you very much, but your services will no longer be required. Send the maniac to catch a maniac. As you can see, I try to follow this guy. He sets a bunch of C4 up and blows me to smithereens. Then the game over screen comes up and I have to make the decision of whether or not I really want to play it again. I select yes and then I have to start from the beginning of that level. I do really like how Sylvester Saloon comes down on the wire and you can shoot and there's a lot of cool dynamics with character movement. and. It's easy to aim and easy to control, but like I said, if you can't get any further, I mean, if you can't get any further, if you, if you're stuck, what good's the game? Despite that it's Demolition Man, and Demolition Man's a fantastic fucking movie. You are fined one credit for a violation of the verbal morale to stand. <laughs> If you can't go any further, it just, if you're stuck, if you can't go any further, if you can't go any further, despite how fun it was at the beginning, I didn't get any further than the first level. So I'm going to give it a two out of five. Thank you. It comes in a jar, man. <laughs> a mason jar. Thirty-five percent. That's only uh, that sound like seventy that. proof. That sound like that. Captain.